So there are four different types of workers um, that are traditionally uh, classified under farm workers. Um, there are migrant workers who may or may not be residing currently in the U.S., um, like living here permanently, and they, they tend to take different routes of migration. They will like stop in four or five different places throughout the season um, depending on what kind of labor they do. Uh, the second type is seasonal. Seasonal workers are usually, while they're usually originally from a different country, they are currently residing permanently in the U.S. Usually they only work part of the year in agriculture. So say they'll work apples in the fall but clean houses the rest of the year. And so they split their time. Then there are H2A and H2B workers. These are contracted guest workers from mostly Mexico and Guatemala, although there are some from Haiti and the Caribbean, who are contracted by by a specific farmer, usually in groups of anywhere from 10 to 500, um, to come to this worker's farm, or this grower's farm, live there, have housing provided, and work there for, for a solid six months and then return. Then the last one is undocumented workers who, there's no really good classification of an undocumented worker because there's so many different stories. Um, they could have crossed the border, they could have come on a tourist visa and stayed. There's all sorts of different things, but undocumented workers are often just like working in whatever they can find. Um, and it, a lot of times it happens to be agriculture because that's, what that's what's available. The government is constantly oppressing farm workers and, and right now there are certain labor laws that exist that, um, that protect, protect traditional workers, that protect American workers. Um, that say like if they get hurt on the job they get workers comp that kind of thing they get they get minimum wage they get overtime things like that those kind of rules don't exist for farm workers um and they're they're specifically exempt in the law so what we do is say okay you're not protected by the law how are we going to help you it's hard to say well the government is gonna like create immigration reform so it's gonna make this different for people our current food system is entirely supported by the migrant labor we have that's migrating into this country. Knowing where your food comes from, and once you know about this, just telling the people you know about, hey, did you know that farm workers work 16 hours a day and don't get any breaks? And they pick those salad greens that are on our table right now? Did you know that? And so telling people that really helps.